Quoting from his writing, now about the generator. In the first place, all currents are alternating. To get direct currents, we have to use a commutator. Transformers and generators of any description are making the currents in the same way by filling the coil's iron core with magnets and letting the iron core push them out and into the coil. Ed states that all currents are manifested in three states positive current or north pole current and the neutral or no pressure state and the negative current or south pole current because one cannot run without the other. You can change the leading pole to be the positive or north pole current or the negative or south pole current by using a commutator. And all transformers and generators are creating current movement by saturating the core whether it's air, iron, laminated steel or ferrite and overflowing into the coil. Connect the battery with the electric magnet. It will be a field magnet now. Put the three inch coil between the iron prongs and take it out. Do it fast. Repeat it. Then you will have a steady light in the light bulb. Now you and the field magnet are a generator. Ed wants you to make an electromagnet to be the stator of the generator. And Ed wants you to be the rotor of the generator. Suppose you had a wheel and many coils around the wheel turning, then you would be making all kinds of light. Do not make the machine. I already have the application for patent in the patent office. I made 10 different machines with magnetic currents, but I found this combination between field magnets and coils the most efficient. Ed is describing his best machine. There is no record of this application in the patent office. The records could be suppressed or classified. What happened to Ed's application is unknown. There is no trace of this machine at Core Castle. There is a wheel with Ford Model T V-shaped magnets with no coils at Core Castle. There is a picture of Ed operating this wheel. But this wheel is the opposite of Ed's description of his best machine. Put the coil in slowly and take it out slowly. Then you will have no light. That will show to make magnetic current the time is important. Put the 6 inch long square rod on top of the two iron prongs. Fit good so it lies even. Connect the battery with the electric magnet for a little while. Now disconnect the battery. Connect the light bulb with the electric magnet the same way it was connected with the battery. Now pull off the 6 inch long bar. Do it quickly. Then you will see light in the bulb. Connect the battery up again with the electric magnet. Put the bar across the iron prongs. Hold a while. Disconnect the battery. Now the electric magnet holds perpetual motion. If not disturbed, it will last indefinitely. I held it in this position for six months, and when I pulled off the six inch bar, I got just as much light out of it as the first time. This experiment shows that if you start the north and south pole individual magnets in orbit, they will never stop. The hanging magnets that hang up and down, they show that there is motion inside the bar. Magnetic particles move at the speed of light in our atmosphere and much faster in the vacuum of space. To induce magnetic particle movement in copper coils from permanent magnets or electromagnets requires great speed. Also, when you start magnetic particles in an orbit, when you disturb that orbit, the particles will exit the coil with great pressure. Ed wants you to start the particles in an orbit and not disturb the orbit. He states the particles, if not disturbed, will orbit perpetually. If you move the perpetual motion holders, circulating particles, near the vertical compass, it will show the particles orbiting in the core. Hold the perpetual motion holder north pole magnet or end east and south pole magnet terminal or pole end west. Now raise it up slowly to the south pole hanging magnet. Then you will see the south pole hanging magnet swing south. 
Now, put the perpetual motion holder under the north pole hanging magnet. Raise up slowly. Then you will see the north pole hanging magnet swing north. This experiment shows without any doubt that the north and south pole individual magnets are running in the same direction as those in the copper wire, which came out of the car battery. And in both instances, while the magnets are running ahead in whirling motion, they use the right hand twist. Ed wants you to lift a perpetual motion holder up to the hanging magnets to show that once you get the particles orbiting, they behave just like the currents in his single wire experiments. To summarize, 1. All transformers and generators are creating current movement by saturating the core, whether it is air, iron, laminated steel, or ferrite, and overflowing into the coil. 2. Ed wants you to make an electromagnet to be the stator of the generator, and Ed wants you to be the rotor of the generator. 3. Ed is describing his best machine. 4. Ed wants you to start the particles in an orbit and not disturb the orbit. He states the particles, if not disturbed, will orbit perpetually. If you move the perpetual motion holder circulating particles near the vertical compass, it will show the particles orbiting in the core. 5. Ed wants you to lift the perpetual motion holder up to the hanging magnets to show that once you get the particles orbiting, they will behave just like the currents in his single wire experiments. We will be continuing the experiments in episode 11.